with Alan and Pam Kawakami. And we just want to ask you guys a couple questions today. So tell us a little bit about what your role was and when you were with the band. Wow, I started with the group in the mid 70s. And so Jamie and Clayton and Bob and I were in high school together. Wow. And that's where we, that's where this all started was when we were in high school. And we practiced in this basement of the Platteville United Methodist Church. Great. And that was a little scary back then, but it was uh, it was a great time. And we just thought, hey, we just get together, let's do this stuff for the youth and things like that. Um, but you know, we started in the mid '70s, um, and really it took off from there. We ended up in doing things in the summertime with mm -hmm. the college, okay. so that was in the what '80s, mm -hmm. I guess '80, '80, '81 through there. Um, and that's basically when. Pam joined, right? Was it anybody? Right. I met Jamie in college at Central Methodist University and joined the band in the summer of 81. I was a short-term member. <laughs> and then later when we started Front Page Music, uh, we were here full-time for 10 or 12 years oh, wow. with Jamie. Alan was the manager of that music ministry yeah. company for those years and I joined them when they were local and oh. uh, could work it around jobs and things. And so that was through the early nineties. Wow. Yeah. So what's, what's your favorite memories of the wow. band? I mean, I know it's spanned such a long time, but what stands yeah. out to you the most? You know, I, I think it's, it, it's mainly the friendships, I think, and the, just the, the memories of, the, the different people around this state and around this region. Um, gosh, friends like you and and Steve that we've got to love and, and to know over the years. But just, you know, here we are, you know, 40 years later, re reenacting, nice. trying, trying, to, <laughs> trying to put this <laughs> thing back together, together right? Uh, but it, we've just remained friends over, uh -huh. the, over the years. And that, that's just yeah. amazing to yeah. me. Yeah. That's just amazing. And that's, that's a beautiful thing about relationships that are built and centered on Christ. Mm -hmm. It's a bond that is eternal. Right. So there's that camaraderie, that brotherhood, that sisterhood that really does not get duplicated in the world mm -hmm. because we know overarching from the beginning of our relationships mm -hmm. was the love of Christ. Right. So we all know that we're in it all in. Uh-huh. We're uh -huh. in it. Right. And so it's it's been amazing to me how that that bond transcends the natural human mm -hmm. bond right. because it's spirit based. Absolutely. So Absolutely. it's a connection that's not gonna go away. Yeah. And we're gonna be together for eternity. Forever. I know. <laughs> we see each other in person I or know. not, right? Yeah. Yeah. One thing that was birthed out of the front page music, I referred to that earlier, um, we did an awesome summer camp. I believe it started in 86 I think that's right. and continued yeah. through 96 we were able to bring in small groups of Christian musicians that wanted to know what it was like to be uh -huh. in full-time yeah. ministry uh -huh. so we had sessions for them the college was gracious enough to let us use their facilities we spent a week in sessions with them and then we actually took that group out onto the road uh -huh. and really did the same thing that we used to do when we right. were in the band. We traveled and nice. toured and went to different yeah. churches. And then we gave them a studio experience. Uh -huh. So they, wow. they went home with, back then, a cassette tape. <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> and made some amazing friendships there as well, but yeah. just shared uh -huh. what we had been able to learn uh -huh. as a traveling group mm -hmm. with other people who had similar interests right. and goals and aspirations. Yeah, That's great. I, I think that was probably the most rewarding thing really is to be able to uh, impart onto others kind of what, to give them an experience mm -hmm. of, of mm -hmm. studio life mm -hmm. and travel right. life and rehearsals uh -huh. and everything's not all uh, fun and, you <laughs> You're know, not roses. an automatic yes. rock star yes. just right. because you want to be. Yeah. Yeah. But beyond oh, that great. too, the spiritual basis for being strong enough to carry on your ministry in spite of some of the circumstances when you're on the road. It was, I think it was really challenging to those students to to really dig down and mm -hmm. find their spiritual yeah, basis yeah, for so a music good. ministry, not just yeah. their rock star mentality. You know, because Amy Grant was doing it and Michael right. W. Smith, hey, uh -huh. I can do this too. There's so yeah. much that goes into being 
not just successful, mm -hmm. but really anointed for right. for that That's calling good. in your life. Wow. Well, great, you guys. Alan and Pam Kawakami, passing it along, life experiences. Yes. Thanks so yes. much for coming, you guys. Right. Thank yes. you. It's been a blessing. It's been a blessing. Yes.